Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com. Today we're taking a closer look at and installing the Ford GT350 Alcantara steering wheel fitting all 2015 and 2017 Mustangs. Now if you're a big fan, like everybody else in the Mustang world of the Shelby GT350, you might want to get a piece of that interior for your own S550. This particular one is the original equipment manufactured for that Shelby GT350. It's got all Alcantara suede lining the entire top down to a leather flat bottom. It's extremely stylish for the interior and it's got a more defined 10 and 2 position and that combined with the flat bottom, you get a really sporty feel. That Shelby styling for your interior goes a long way for the styling, but honestly just makes your car a lot more fun to drive. The Alcantara, in my personal opinion, is a way better look and feel than the factory leather. It's got a double white stitching all along the interior diameter, so it looks pretty cool. It matches really well with the interior of your S550, and it's gonna reuse your factory airbag here in the center, unless you opt to go with the Shelby one with the snake in the middle, and it's also gonna reuse all of your factory buttons and button locations. It's gonna reuse all of your side buttons along with that silver trim. So the install is gonna get one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here. You can get it done in about an hour, maybe two if you wanna take your time a little bit more. It's extremely important to make sure you're reconnecting all of the sensors and harnesses inside the steering wheel and the airbag before you finish the installation, simply because you wouldn't wanna get in an accident and there'd be a disconnected harness in there and your airbag not deployed. It can be pretty dangerous. So you wanna make sure you're patient, taking your time and paying attention to reconnecting all those harnesses. And I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. Now, if you're looking to get the GT350 wheel for your own S550, you can do so for just about 385 bucks to 400 bucks here. It sounds like a high price tag, but again, you gotta remember, it's original Ford equipment, officially licensed by Ford. It's the exact wheel used on those Shelby models. So if you wanna get original stuff, it is a price to pay. And in my opinion, well worthwhile if you're looking to add that sporty feel to the interior. Now, without further ado, guys, I wanna show you guys how it gets installed. It is a tedious process, so let's get to it. Tools used for this install will be a three millimeter Allen key, a ratchet, extension, T20 Torx bit, 10 millimeter socket, 15 16th socket, and a small flathead screwdriver. First step of the install here is of course gonna be disconnecting the negative terminal on your battery. This is an extremely crucial step when you're doing an airbag swap because you don't want anything to go wrong, right? Swapping the airbag can be a little dangerous if you don't disconnect your battery. You wouldn't want, God forbid, that airbag to deploy. So what we're gonna do is pop our battery cover off here. Got my 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Just gonna loosen up this negative terminal and pop that off. First step inside the car after you've disconnected the negative terminal on your battery is to grab a really tiny three millimeter Allen key. There's two little slots, one on each side of your steering wheel where pins are inside of your airbag. So this is gonna insert into that tiny little hole and you're gonna push on that pin to disconnect each side of your airbag. You can do that on both sides, disconnect it, and it'll pop off into your hand where you can disconnect your electrical connectors. All right, so we're inserting our Allen key into that slot here. There we are. Once you get in, you'll feel the resistance of that pin. You can push it and pry off on the front of your steering wheel. That's gonna pry off that airbag, and now you can do the opposite side. At this point, you can set that Allen key aside and keep that airbag up close to the steering wheel. All right, at this point, there are three connectors you wanna disconnect. These two yellow ones in the dead center, and then this one here with the red locking tab. For these two yellow ones, they have an orange tab on each of them. You wanna take a really small flathead screwdriver, go to the back of them, and pry those straight up. Those are also locking pins. With them straight up, you can pull the yellow clip directly off. For the red locking tab, do the same thing, but push up on that red tab. With that up, you'll be able to press down on the clip and pull it straight out. At that point, you can set the airbag aside. Before we can get the entire steering wheel off, there's two more steps we have to take. There's an electrical connector directly in the center here with a locking pin, and then of course the 15 16 bolt holding it in in the center. So I'm gonna use my flathead screwdriver. You can also use your fingers, but it is a little easier with your flathead, push down on this pin here. You're gonna gently pull back on the wiring to disconnect it. You don't wanna to pull too hard on the wiring and disconnect any of those, just enough to get the clip out of there. Now from here, you can push that off to the side. Use a 15 16 socket to remove this bolt.
Once you have that out by hand or by ratchet, you can set this aside to be reinstalled later. With that bolt out of the center, now you can remove the steering wheel. All right, we got our factory steering wheel off of our S550 and on the table here sitting next to our Ford Performance GT350 Alcantara wheel. Off the bat, you can see a ton of differences here that really are a huge upgrade for the interior styling and the sporty feel of your car. Going from your factory wheel that's got a full leather trim, black stitching on the inside, pretty basic stuff for the S550. Now, as you can see, the GT350 wheel has a full Alcantara suede wrap all the way down to the flat bottom, which is a huge sporty upgrade over the factory S550 wheel. Now that's flat bottom steering wheel is gonna have a leather wrap where that flat bottom is and white stitching on the interior, which is gonna be a little bit different than the black on the factory wheel. It's also got the black sightline stripe on the top. Now this one does come with a couple of different color options on the market and on the site there, especially from Ford Performance. There's an orange option, blue, green, red, so on and so forth. Black, in my opinion, looks really good with the factory S550 interior. Now you are gonna swap over a couple of things such as the factory airbag, unless you're swapping in a Shelby GT350 one. And you're also gonna be swapping in the buttons from the sides here, as well as that aluminum trim. Now that's gonna swap over with just some simple hand clips. There really isn't a ton of work to be done there. And installing this is just gonna be the exact same thing in the reverse order. So I wanna show you guys how this gets done. So let's get to it. Now there's a couple things we have to transfer over from the factory wheel to our new GT350 wheel, including the bezel trim and of course the buttons on each side. Now you're gonna need a T20 Torx bit, a ratchet and an extension to get those off and transfer them over. All right, first thing we're gonna do is start on the left-hand side of the wheel, get your T20 Torx bit and remove those screws. All right, to get these top pieces off, you wanna remove the silver trim before you remove the bottom black buttons. Now, if you need to, if you're not able to pull this off with your thumbs, you can use that Allen key we started in the beginning with and put it right underneath that retainer pin and pry up to pop that out of place. So we're gonna pull these off on both sides and then we'll get to work on the black buttons on the bottom. On the back side here, there's gonna be another one of those harnesses. So pinch down and remove that clip. Now, as you can see, we just removed those top silver trim pieces and their buttons. And underneath that, that'll reveal another screw holding on those bottom pieces. So we're gonna use our T20 again to remove the screw on each side. point we can lift this up and disconnect that harness on the bottom as well. Now when you flip this over you'll be able to see that locking pin and again you can use your flathead screwdriver to push down on that and pull back. Now we can transfer all of those pieces over to our Ford GT350 wheel.
When you're putting these top buttons on, you can see that there's a silver tab here that'll go underneath on the inside of the airbag slot underneath this black trim right here. So you wanna make sure that that tab is seated on the inside. All right, and those will seat right on top of the threaded holes over top of the black trim for the bottom buttons. Now with all of our buttons in place and everything bolted down, all electrical connectors are reconnected, it is time to install this in our Mustang. All right, at this point, you can put the 350 wheel into place here. You wanna make sure you're feeding your airbag wiring through the center hole there. And then of course, this is going to rotate, so you wanna make sure you're keeping that lined up with that open hole at the top. From here, we can start that 15 16 bolt in the center with our ratchet and extension. At this point, you can plug in your large gray connector with the red middle here. That's gonna go straight through this hole and into the wheel connector. Now with these yellow connectors on your factory airbag, you wanna orient that the way it would normally go in. Flip that toward you. Now these connectors, that orange pin, is gonna rotate onto the bottom and reconnect while also pushing in that yellow clip. That'll lock it into place the same thing with the black. Now you wanna make sure you're doing the black to the black and the yellow to the yellow. These you definitely don't wanna mix up. All right, lock those in. So the red connector, clip that into place, and then press down that locking connector. All right, from here, we're ready to snap our airbag into place, which is the last step of this entire process besides reconnecting the negative cable on your battery. Now this one can sit in the place right here, but for a second I wanna show you what's gonna happen. Now this is the same thing we did when removing the airbag. You're gonna take your three millimeter hex key or Allen key and insert that into your really small hole on the side of your steering wheel. From there you're gonna press in that retainer pin on the inside of the airbag and clip that same side in. Then you're gonna repeat for the other side, press in that key and snap it into place. 
So what I mean by the retainer clip going in from the small hole on the side of the airbag, as you can see on both sides here, there is this U-shaped clip. Now this retainer pin, that's actually where the hex key is going in on the side. So when you put that hex key in, you're pressing this side of the clip in, you're gonna snap the airbag into place and then let it go and that'll hold it in on each side. So for here, push it in and it might go straight past like I just did. So you're gonna wanna line that up and go in and a little bit lower to snap onto this. From here, you can go in, click it into place and repeat for the other side. Last step in the process here is reconnect, of course, the negative cable on your battery. So grab a 10 millimeter socket and tighten down that nut. That's gonna wrap up my review and install of the GT350 Alcantara wheel from Ford, fitting all 15 to 17 Mustangs. If you want that original Shelby feel on the interior of your Mustang, you like that Alcantara, which I gotta say, way better than the factory leather, you can get yours right here at AmericanMuscle.com.